Ooh. All right, man. Yeah, Alex is like Ace's Carnival, I think. Yeah, exactly. I think so. What's this one called? So this song is called Thieves Paradise. Thieves Paradise. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, whenever you're ready. She answered, blessed men born on the beach, turned grains of sand into gold before her and them meet. Heard her to see a nigga murder for I earned a degree, or at least furnished a home that I purchased to lease. For my earnings of putting verses to beats, instead of laid up under dirt with the worms and the weak. So getting shaded off the herb was a curse to a certain degree. The early bird gets the worm, I was perching the tree. Instead of flirting with freaks, I could have read a thousand novels, spreading knowledge to the hollow of souls rooted in sorrow. Visited hella prisons, giving wisdom that I borrowed. Cause we're all victims of living within a system, swallows the children whole. Have mercy on our souls, thinking how big he died when he was only 24. Yeah. Uh, my best friend, though, he was rapping, I didn't even know. Uh, but one day I went to his house. And he just pulled out these notebooks. He had like six notebooks just full of like raps, just endless raps. So then every day I'd like come to his house and we'd just be freestyling. And that's what really brought the love and like me getting into the music like that. So my name is Jordan. Uh, I come from San Diego, California. My stage name is Gamma. Had to make moves to the Bay. Living there with my brother now to reconnect with our groups in the series. It's been a dope ass experience just trying to get into new things and expand our music. San Diego was definitely like the teacher of everything that I know now. Like growing up around taco shops and just the culture, all that kind of stuff is something that is ingrained in me, something that's definitely been a part of my personality and I can't take that away, of course. Hip hop, I feel like I call it a lifestyle. It's a culture, it's a way that you live, it's where you dress, it's where you walk, it's where you talk. Uh, hip hop to me is meant everything, it gives you your persona, your attitude. And especially because I'm an MC myself, it's just like a lifestyle, I can't escape it. I didn't want to record for the longest time because listening to my favorite artists, I didn't feel like I matched up or at all, came close. And the first time I recorded and finally laid something down that I was actually proud of, I was like, okay, I'm actually getting to that level. Everyone's been like a building block and, and something that builds up the confidence and takes you another step towards where you're trying to go. And when you can rap for one of your favorite artists and they like, listening and have respect for it, that's the best feeling of it. A beginning MC, I would say you should definitely pick up freestyling because that's how you find yourself, that's how you get comfortable, that's how you get comfortable rapping in front of people because a lot of times that's the other thing, like you'd be afraid when you first rap, like I don't know if this is good enough to rap in front of a crowd and freestyling gets you like, oh my homies like it, okay now I can show my friends, oh now I can show people I don't even know and just builds your comfortability up. Palm full of corpses, counting losses, watching the world spin in my vortex, finger fucking misfortune, caution. I'm a shark eating piranhas in shallow water, deeper than scuba divers, deeper than two vaginas, to deep into your conscience. Penis is too colossal, can't even fit a condom that lengthy. Crack babies get flashbacks to the 80s when I rap. A match dopeness, calling up like a cobra, then I attack. Slinging your body back over my shoulder, throwing it over the edge of a cliff into the ocean. It will flow into the open abyss, nigga. I give a shit. You think you're focused until my moment is in when I break a moment of bliss over my head, like a bottle of hen above the rim, like Tupac in 94. Taking more shots than Penny Hardaway down my throat. I must be in the zone. Hip hop to me is so strong because it's almost conversational in style. There's nothing to really distract you. There's no instruments in the background. It's just the artist almost spilling his soul to you like you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And when that ha with that kind of power, it's just the artist and the individual feels like they're connecting on levels that I feel like other styles of music can't really relate to. And it's, it's an amazing feeling, it's an amazing thing. I definitely listen to a lot of jazz too, uh, Miles Davis and John Coltrane. And just music where it's like, I could just put that on the background and write to that alone, you know? I love music that just block out the world for you, just like bring you to another state of mind, another place where you could just be in your own ambiance and just let it go. The thing is too, rap first of all is fun, so I always wanna have fun with it, but at the end of the day I can't escape bringing real life perspectives and situations that I've been in and my friends have been in and beyond that just people throughout the United States are going through and uh, as a young black male in America you, you have to put in the music it would be betraying myself not to put in the music.
Ice Cube brood, eating niggas food up off his plate. Go Daytona Cruise, circa 98. Birth of Iceberg Slim, Crusader in the Cape Invader Zim. Darth Vader, lightsaber, letter taste. Never fake, speak cold truth, never hesitate. Letters laced tighter than some great Jordan number eights. Words marinate over steak with the Thunder Bass. Knocking like karate chops and drop kicks to the face. Took her on a date, showed up seven hours late. Good thing she waited on the player like the way they're holding extra cake. Say I'm too slick. Too